Hi guys. What's up everyone? Good afternoon. Say good evening, Kayla. Yes, nice girl. I hope everyone is doing great. As for us, we're not bad. Giving God thanks for life. Situation could have been worse. But he did not allow that to happen. He will not give us more than what we can bear. Right, Kayla? Excuse me. That's a big burp. <laughs> Excuse me. That's a big burp. Anyhow, I have seen um most of the um the respond on Facebook and Jazeel post and I would like to take this time out to say a special thank you to Jazeel for his support in all of this you know he didn't have to do it but he did and I know God is going to give him a special blessing just for this one you did great and we really 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 appreciate it you know and um, I've seen the post my phone is acting upon me so I can't really get to reply to all of them but for those who are inquiring on what are the stuff that we need help with let me just take this time out to state that we are in need of diapers um, she wear extra large in children's diapers um, formula she drink Klim that's the 3 plus cereal wheat and honey she specializes in her food she eats soft food like Irish pumpkin um, sweet potato anything that can crush out she will have that she like um, supplegent oh my god she's a lover of supplegent I don't know if them tiring it and then there is um surge peanut punch there is uh, oats she love oats but not the one in the box mm. she like the one in the plastic because it's easily soaked mm. she don't like the one in the box because it kind of coarse and it chokes her a lot mm. um condensed milk mm. everything that have to do with milk this girl only takes condensed milk and she knows the difference so if i make porridge for her and i put cow's milk in it she will not drink it so um those are the stuff we are really in need of for her we are on the verge of doing a bathroom facility for her because we don't have a bathroom for her and if there's anybody out there who want to donate stuff for the bathroom then we will be grateful okay um this is a worthy cause this is a worthy cause and as i have stated before she's seven years old and for the entire seven years we have been doing it by ourselves and we decided now that it's kind of challenging it's very challenging you know to take care of her to provide all of her basic needs she used diapers right through the day wipes right through the day powder right through the day she used everything basically right through the day so it's kind of hard sometimes to keep up to keep up i don't work full week anymore because um my mom is only available three days to take care of them for me so i only work those three days and um still grateful you know because so many personal persons out there don't have this opportunity they are going through worse than what we are going through so we have to give god thanks no matter how small it is we must give god thanks God is able to do the impossible. I talk every day that God specializes in things that seems impossible. And I see a lot of posts where persons are saying that God is going to help us and God is going to make her walk and talk and all of these things. I strongly believe those that don't have to give just continue to pray for our strength because this is not an easy path. Let me tell you, when you see persons out there taking care of a child, with um cp or any other disability at times it get really discouraging but with god in the vessel we're going to smile through our storms i vow that i will take care of this girl until the last breath until my last breath so 
I am just grateful to God. Continue to give us your support. Continue to pray up our strength. And continue to reach out to us. Continue to share. And Mr. Jazeel, big up yourself. You have done great for us already. And you have continued to do great. And not only for my family, but for others. God bless you all.